Welcome to day one of working my way through my entire makeup collection until I have used every single product. I started this series last year with the hopes of working through my makeup collection, trying things that I haven't tried in a while or ever before, and just getting re-familiar with my collection with the intention of narrowing my collection down into a more reasonable, usable size. I recently did a huge makeup declutter series and got rid of about 50% of my makeup, but I'm still not happy with the size of my collection, so I thought this was the perfect time to bring this series back. We're starting fresh. We're calling this day one, even though we got a few weeks into it last time. I have my full base of products sitting here in front of me. I will have them linked down below. The way this works is I will do a full face of makeup. We'll do a check-in a few hours down the road, and then at the end, I will decide whether I will keep certain products, declutter certain products, or we have a third category for try it again products, meaning I'm not ready to commit to make a decision to either keep or declutter, so we'll kind of add it back into the rotation of things. So again, if you guys missed this series previously, I have a ton of them over on Instagram and TikTok. I will have those linked down below for you guys. I think we got to like day 13 or 14 last time, so there's a lot of content up there already. But I decided to bring it back on YouTube because I had so many requests to do so. Sorry for the long intro. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think I should keep declutter or try again. I'm really interested on your thoughts. And let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. I recall loving this primer, but I gotta say, I have not used it in quite some time. Right now, all I have on my skin is some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I applied that as my moisturizer earlier, but that's about it as far as skincare. So this is a really lightweight jelly <laughs> face primer. Great if you have oily skin, it doesn't feel heavy or greasy in any way, but it still gives you that hydrated feel and look. You can definitely see that I've used quite a bit of this product. I would say over half, and it's been definitely a few months, I gotta say. I love the way that it feels on my skin. I feel like I kind of refell in love with this product, so... So far, we're off to a good start, or bad start, depending on how you look at things. Next up, we have the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick. This is in the shade 210B. This is something that I also have not used in a long time, and I don't know if this color is gonna work for me. I feel like it will, actually. This is also something that I used to love. I was never a foundation stick girly, but then I found this one, and I kind of fell in love with it, so. Definitely gonna give this another shot today. I'm using a fresh diamond sponge from my collab with Bling Brushes. Again, I will have everything that I'm using today linked down below. I decided for brushes. It's been a while since I used my Starry Night, so we're gonna use the Starry Night collection today. And of course, you guys can use Good Page for 10% off of Blinged Brushes. So I am filming, editing, and uploading this all in one day, and I have something really exciting to share with you guys. So I recently have been loving live streaming on my gaming channel. And last night we started a game, which first of all, shout out to the Page Corn Gaming YouTube community. Y'all are awesome. Um, but last night we started a game. It's called Wildflowers. It's incredible. It is a video game for literally everybody in many ways. I feel like it is a game that even non-video game players would love. There are so many people in chat who aren't necessarily like hardcore video gamers, but they love the stream. I think last night's stream was like by far the most positive feedback I've gotten from a stream. The game is called Wildflowers. It's a cozy game. It's voice acted. It's available on Switch, Steam, and the like Apple Arcade. So you can get it on your phone or iPad. It's literally so much fun. It's incredibly inclusive and it's the cutest game in the entire world. You are basically a girl named Tara and she is escaping city life and going to live with her grandmother on a farm. And she basically is discovering that she's a witch. Obviously I don't wanna give you guys any spoilers so I won't do that, but 
I highly recommend joining the stream. I'm gonna be live tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, and it's gonna be episode two of Wildflowers, but if you guys want to go and watch episode one, the live stream is still up on that channel. I'll have my page Corn Gaming channel link down below. I highly, highly recommend checking this game out, and it would be so cool if you guys could join the live stream. We seriously have the best community over there. I also have a Discord, so you guys can chat in the Discord. I'll have that link down below as well. I just, I'm obsessed. We streamed for four hours last night. I didn't get off stream until 1 a.m. <laughs> so um, definitely check out Wildflowers, check out Pagecorn Gaming, subscribe, and come hang out with us. Even if it's just for a little bit to, you know, kind of see if you would like it. Like I said, it's extremely inclusive as far as like characters and backgrounds go, which we love. And it's also like so fun for people that maybe have never played a video game in their life like it's still so cute so fun and everyone loved it so <laughs> i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm going to be live streaming tonight at nine o'clock and make sure you guys turn on your notifications to come check it out and say hi it's seriously the best time and um again my gaming channel will be linked down below my discord will be linked down below and it would just be awesome if you guys came and hang out so or came and hung out <laughs> so anyway um i'm loving the way this foundation is looking on my skin we're gonna go ahead and go in with some concealer so this is a concealer that i've never tried before this is the revlon color stay skin awaken caffeine and vitamin c 24 hour five in one concealer Whew, that's a long name. So like I said, this is something that I have never tried before. So we'll see how this goes. It has a sponge tip applicator. So I'm assuming I squeeze the product out. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're just going to apply this. Oh wow, that's very light. This is in the shade 005, I believe. Yes, 005. So we'll definitely use this as a highlighting concealer sorry about the rant guys i just am very passionate about this game and just gaming in general and i think if you guys gave it a try you would really enjoy watching and or playing so um just wanted to kind of plug my gaming channel really quick and see if you know extend the invitation for you guys to join us and see if any of you would potentially be interested the concealer is blended out and based on my first impression i feel like it's okay I don't think it did anything spectacular for me, but definitely we'll update you guys at the end of the video. Next, we're going in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. This used to be my ride or die. I went through an entire container of this and I haven't used it in months. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going in with the F16 from Bling Brushes and I'm gonna use this to set my under eye area. So far, I am loving the way that my skin is looking. I think it looks great. I have no complaints. My skin isn't doing perfect right now. I have a few breakouts. So obviously looking past that, <laughs> um, I think my skin looks great. So now we're gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie, hopefully. This is NARS Laguna. I haven't used this in so long. I'm actually gonna go back in with that F16. And we're just gonna tap into here. I'm a little nervous. I don't even know how old this is, so. Um, I don't know how this has made it through so many declutters. I think it's because I know that NARS Laguna is like a classic product, but I, I honestly, <laughs> I feel like this bronzer is like five years old, so. Definitely something to consider when we make our decisions later. This bronzer is so freaking beautiful. I'm like, I'm really obsessed with this. The color is perfect and it's really natural. I love that it has like, it's not sparkly, but it has like a satin, like the slightest bit of sheen to it. So it looks beautiful on my skin. I just know how old this is, so. <laughs> <laughs> something to keep in mind for blush we're actually going in with the color pop between the sheets super shock cheek and i have not used this before but i think i'm gonna try to apply it with a brush we'll see how this goes this is the f14 from the starry nights collection it's an angled cheek brush so i'm just going to tap into there 
and then just tap directly onto my cheek. I'm not super familiar with the cheek product formula. I love the Super Shock shadows, but I'm just not super familiar with the cheek formula, but honestly, that is beautiful. I like that it's kind of like a cream powder hybrid because it's extremely pigmented and blendable, but I feel like it's also beginner friendly or like, uh, you know, quick makeup friendly at least because it just kind of blends itself out and you're not messing with liquids and this applies fantastic on top of powder. That pigment is insane. I love this color so much. We gotta do something about these brows. So um, I'm gonna use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the Benefit Gimme Brow. I need to spend like a couple hours working on my brows or like I need to go get them threaded or something because <laughs> I have not touched my brows in months. Like I need to clean them up so bad. I just kind of let them go free. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's time for me to just clean things up a little bit. Gimme Brow has never been my go-to. I'm just not a tinted brow gel gal, so um, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Like, what am I doing applying tinted brow gel right now? Like, do you see how dark my eyebrows are? <laughs> Honestly, I'm hating the brows right now. So there's that. For eyeshadow, we're gonna go in with the Smoke and Roses palette from ColourPop. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this palette. It's so freaking pretty. There we go. I don't know what was going on with the lighting there for a minute, but look at this palette. I'm, ugh, I need it. I need it on my eyes right now. So I'm gonna take this large blending brush. This is the E11. And we're gonna go in with the shade Alone, which is this matte pink color. And I'm just gonna blend that into my crease. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Look At Me, and I'm going to use that same brush. And I'm just gonna tap this in my outer corner. I didn't use any eye primer today. I just kind of blended out the concealer that was on my eyelids. And then I'm gonna take Faithfully, which is this bright light pink shimmery shade and I'm gonna use my finger and apply that all over my lid That shimmer is insane. Colourpop eyeshadows literally never disappoint me. Then I'm gonna go into the highlighter that I'm using today Which is lunch money from Colourpop again. This is one that I have not used before and I actually need to go grab a different brush so that I can put this on my inner corner and I need to change my camera battery. So I will be right back. And I'm back with my E22. This is my favorite brush for applying inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to take my brush directly into my ColourPop highlighter like this and then apply that to my inner corner. And look at that, that's so freaking beautiful. I love it so much. I have used this formula before, just not this shade. I think the shade that I, the other shade I have is called Flexitarian, which is another really pretty shade, but I really wanted to try this one since I hadn't used it before. Now we'll go ahead and grab the F17 from the Starry Nights collection. And we're gonna use this to apply, oh my gosh, the highlighter to my cheek. For lips, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Cupcake. I'm only using a little bit of this, kind of on the center of my lip area, just to kind of define my lip line. And then we're gonna go in with this lip gloss from Patrick Ta. This is in the shade She's an Influencer. Just look at how beautiful the shimmery gloss is. I like am obsessed with this. I do know that this is a bit older though, so. It literally does not smell like anything. So I don't know if it's supposed to have a scent, but it doesn't smell like anything. Next, we're gonna go in with the Dewy Set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's just make sure it still works. And then I'm going to set my face with this and put some mascara on. I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And then I will be back to show you guys the final look. All right guys, so here is the finished look. I think it turned out really cute. We didn't have any like absolute major flops, 
but I am already kind of making decisions in my head about what I'm gonna do about certain products. So it is currently 3 p.m. I'm not gonna be able to do a super long update, but I'll come back to you guys in a few hours. We'll check on the makeup, see how it's still doing, and then we'll go through the products that I used and I'll tell you if I am keeping decluttering or if I need to try it again. All right guys, so it is currently 7.15 p.m. It's been about four hours and 20 minutes since I last saw you guys, and here is the update. Overall, I feel like my makeup still looks really, really good. My complexion is still looking nice. I definitely have some shine going on, which is expected. It's not too much though, I don't mind it. It only has been four hours. Maybe if it had been a full eight hours, I would have had to touch up with powder, but for the most part, I feel like my skin still looks really good. So let's do a quick run through of these products. Like I said, they're gonna go into one of three categories, keep, declutter, or try again. Starting off with the primer, the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. I love this stuff and I am keeping this. It is not going anywhere. I forgot how much I love that primer in particular compared with the foundation. I don't know why that sentence was so hard for me to say, but this foundation, the Faux Filter Huda Beauty Stick Foundation, I love this stuff so much. I don't know why I stopped using it. This shade is definitely a little bit deep for me at the moment, but it's about to be warmer weather out and I'm sure it'll match me better in no time, but even like right now, I can definitely still get away with it. So this is also an absolute keep for me. I feel like I need to try this concealer again. This was the first time that I used it. I actually really like the way that it looks. I have the tiniest bit of creasing, but I did only set my under eyes with a brush with some loose powder where sometimes I'll go hardcore with a sponge and kind of bake on my under eye area just because I am kind of prone to creasing I found. I can't wear any concealer without setting it with powder because 100% of the time my under eyes will crease no matter what concealer it is. So um, this I'm going to put in the try again category. The powder is another classic for me. I kind of forgot how much I loved this stuff. I am going to be keeping this. The bronzer is a different story. I love this product. I love the way that it looks on my skin. I'm really tempted to keep this, but knowing that I have no idea when I bought this or how old this could possibly be, I am going to declutter it. And this is something that in the future I would absolutely repurchase. I have way too many bronzers to be repurchasing this at the moment, but this is going in the declutter pile because of the fact that it's so old. But like I said, I love the product. I love the way that it looks on my skin and I'm really sad <laughs> that it's so old and that I haven't used this in, I don't even know how long, so. It's a sad day, but we are decluttering the Norris bronzer. For blush, we have the ColourPop blush in the shade Between the Sheets. This was my first time using it and I loved it. I will definitely be keeping that along with the highlighter in the shade Lunch Money. For brows, I honestly wasn't impressed. The Goof Proof brow pencil is just not my favorite. I prefer a smaller brow pencil, something a little more precise. This is a very large, tipped brow pencil. So we're actually gonna declutter this because it's just messy. It's hard for me to do my brows when I use that and I just always reach for the precisely my brow pencil over that one every single time. And same with the Gimme Brow. We're actually gonna be decluttering this as well because one, this is old and I feel like it's kind of dried up. And two, I have no reason to be <laughs> using tinted brow gel. I just personally don't feel the need to use it. I don't like using it. It's messy. It gets all over the place. It's not convenient. And um, I, again, would choose a clear brow gel over a tinted one every single time. So there's no point in me having this because I literally never use it. So this is also getting decluttered. For my lips, I love this lip liner. This is not going anywhere. Cupcake. This is my favorite shade in the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner formula. So that one is staying. And this gloss, I I really want to keep it, but I know that it's really old. It doesn't smell bad though, so I, I, I feel like I should get rid of it, but I don't think that I can get rid of this yet. So we're going to keep this. <laughs> it's just so pretty. And even earlier, Jarvis, my fiance, was like, your lip gloss is looking good. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> we're gonna keep this one next we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills dewy set this hurts me because I want to keep this I love the spray it smells so good I just I love it so much I love the packaging it's all glittery and beautiful but this is old I'm pretty sure I got this like when it first came out um, and it says this is good for 12 months if I had to guess I've had this for two plus years so we're gonna declutter this even though I really don't want to and like I said I love that setting spray I only used probably a quarter of it but I just know it's old and I know that it needs to go I don't even know if they still sell that if they do maybe in the future I would repurchase it I definitely would once I get through some of the ones that I currently have but for now it's got to go then we have the smoke and roses palette from ColourPop. this is something that I will absolutely be keeping I love this palette I think it's fantastic and this is not going anywhere so that one is a keep and then my very last product is the thrive cosmetics mascara this is the liquid lash extensions I really like the way my lashes look today I've been really enjoying this mascara so this is something that I am going to keep so overall I feel like we did pretty good for especially having just decluttered 50% of my makeup I'm decluttering four products from today's video two of them I'm decluttering because I just don't really like them two of them I'm decluttering only for the reason that they're old and again it's I don't know why that's so hard for me to do like I know that these are old and I know I shouldn't be using them and I know I have a ton of new makeup that's just waiting for me to use it but I don't want to get rid of those but I know I need to so we're decluttering four products we are trying the Revlon concealer again and then the rest we are keeping which is three four five six seven eight nine nine products we're keeping four decluttered one try again I'm very happy with that I feel like that is a very successful working my way through my makeup collection series video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up like i said all of these products that i used today will be linked down below don't forget to check out my stream we are playing wildflowers on page corn gaming make sure you guys subscribe join my discord all of that will be down below as well and that's gonna be it i love you all so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye